Hey everyone, welcome to Denver Sinpai channel. Woo! I'm Sabina. My name is Alex. And today we're watching 8th episode of Twin Peaks. Mr. C and Ray are free. They're not in prison anymore. What are they gonna do? Oh, something evil. Dougie is still alive. He managed to beat up this little angry guy. Good thing. But little angry guy, he's still somewhere there. They didn't catch him, but now police is aware of it. And probably killers will not just stop on it, like, okay, one attempt failed, let's just move on and not trying to kill the guy anymore. Probably it will be another attempt. Yeah, hopefully Dougie will manage to escape. Mm -hmm. Plus Ben got the key and started to see some interesting noises inside of the hotel. Probably yeah. something Black Lot related. Totally, but I'm curious if they will solve it themselves or maybe hopefully they will call to Twin Peaks police to tell about at least the key. And the most intriguing thing, I believe, for the entire series, will Jerry find his car? Will <laughs> Jerry get out of forests? Will he be able to do that? Well, I don't think he will, because he always high and it's very trippy to find the car when you high, so I guess no chances, no luck there. Well, I have more trust in Jerry's capabilities. <laughs> I think he will be able to find a way out, maybe he will not. We'll see, maybe in this episode. Yep, let's get started. Yay. Okay, they're on its way, right? Mm-hmm. Way to wear. There are three tracking devices on this car. Probably gonna destroy the car and get another one. I can't believe he's free. I'm wondering what Ray gonna do. I would probably try to get away or maybe even try to kill Mr. C. Oh, bad idea. I'm pretty sure Ray is thinking about it. It's hard to not think about it with Mr. C there. Thanks for getting me out of there. How'd you do this? Daria told me what happened. You needed to get out, Ray. Where's Daria? She's waiting for a phone call when we get someplace safe. Where are we going? He doesn't know about Daria's fate. The farm. Hmm, the farm. That's what I was thinking. You have something I want, Ray. What is it? Yes, I do. I got it memorized. All numbers? Coordinates. I think it might be worth some money. Oop, you're not negotiating here. You think so, do you? Yes, sir, I do. Your mistake. But it's pretty smart for Ray if he has some information to keep this information on the inside of his head, so yeah. he's safe, as long as he's the only one who knows. Yeah, otherwise he's a dead man. It's pretty so creepy to be in one car with that guy. But Ray is not that simple, though. We'll see how long he will be alive. I would probably try to kill Mr. C somehow, or at least to get out of him, and then go back to prison. <laughs> <laughs> Good plan. Okay, some dark remote place. But here, yeah, how do you get Mr. C out of car? You might have one over a sec, I gotta take a leak. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Maybe it is not some random place. Maybe Ray knows where he is. Mm, I don't think so. Yeah. It's pretty intense. Mm -hmm. Who will outsmart whom? I want that information. Yes? Tricked you, fucker. <gasps> Ray is not that simple. Wow, what? That's a game changer. Just run, man, just run. Whatever it is, I don't think it can be dead. Opa. Something is coming. Some black spirits, same spirits from before that we saw. And he can see them. It's almost like they are recovering him. Yes. Just run, man. Don't stand there. Run. Yeah, you better run. It's like they're dancing some ritual there. So basically, Mr. C is immortal. Makes sense. Considering that probably he was killed multiple times in the last 25 years. True. Seems like he's not able to get up and go. 
He just like, shocked. Yeah, he's shocked. But at least he could escape. But for how long? Where's the body? At least now we know what those black creatures are. Like well. the shadows of Mr. C? Shadows of Bob or something? Well, they're for his aid there, that's for sure. Philip, it's Ray. Philip. I think he's dead, but he's found some kind of help, so I'm not 100%. And I, and I, I saw something in Cooper. It's maybe the key to what this is all about. And I told him where I'm going, so if he comes after me, I'll get him there. Probably not. But okay, Ray is fully aware of that this is all about some mysterious, whatever it is, magic stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, the Roadhouse is proud to welcome the Nine Inch Nails. Maybe I'm confused, what is Roadhouse? Now I'm not sure. I thought it's a horror place. Yeah, I thought so too. Maybe renovated. Okay, they're gonna put a band in the beginning of the episode this time. If I'm not mistaken, this is a very popular band. I have like a bunch of songs in the playlist from them. Oppa. Hello. Okay. Back in time. July 1945. Isn't that when atomic bomb was tested in New Mexico? Seems about it. Yeah. But how is it related to pretty much anything? It's not even South Dakota. Probably some big symbolism. Yeah, maybe that's how the gates to another world being open. Mm hmm. Nuclear power opened. Different dimension. Now that sounds actually pretty simple. Probably it's another idea here. Probably this episode is about David Lynch's episodes. Okay, we're going inside of the explosion. Probably that's where Black Creature is from. Agent Cooper was in there. Yeah. He was falling there. Okay, the destruction, the chaos, the creation of something new, the opening of the gates, the birth of David Lynch, the call for epilepsy. <laughs> The fire. And space. Yeah, and like fog. Dif different elements exploding in different colors. Yeah, it's like creation of something. At least that's how I see it. Like the destruction that brings the creation. Okay, we're we getting somewhere. Seems so. To the core. That's a long way, I see, huh? Gas station. Steam coming out, coming in. Yeah, something paranormal happening. Okay, people just walking around. Like, explosion happened. People still just doing whatever they're doing, like nothing happened. Are those even people? Looks like people. Yeah, seems like people. Like, uh, I don't know what to say. Yeah, it's very surrealistic, it's hard to comment here. Probably it's a big metaphor here that I just don't buy, at mm -hmm. least for now. Okay, some creature is puking. Ew. Now we're going inside of a vomit. Never been there yet. Deep inside vomit that's how it feels like yes destruction the poison probably my stomach after taco bell <laughs> i can recognize it yes <laughs> oh it's doggy huh. well whatever left of doggy so this is like a manufactured person manufactured in the flames inside of the poison not poison vomit of the poisoned human near a gas station after atomic bomb <laughs> yeah 
1945 saga is confusing. But it's about sickness, that's for sure. I'm wondering whom we will see. If we're gonna see anyone. Well, hopefully, at least those black creatures. Would be nice to see where they're living, what they're doing. Like their daily routine, breakfast, work. Mm -hmm. Is that the woman? Who was scared of her mother? Maybe it's the mother. And since like this is the years of forties as well, considering how she looks like and whatever okay, the thing called. Okay, we're still in 1945. Yeah, probably this is the sequence of events that happened an instant second somehow. That's probably how people were entertaining themselves in those years, just sitting, listening to music, chilling time, until the bomb exploded. Well, probably bomb is some kind of symbolism as well. It's not literal bomb. Oh, the giant. Uh-huh. In his prime. <laughs> okay, she was just peacefully sitting, then the giant guy appeared. She doesn't seem to care about it, but he's looking at us. It's like he's breaking the fourth wall, knowing that no. he's in TV show. He's looking a little bit above. Hmm. Look at the camera. Above the camera. Hmm. Okay, Mr. Giant. You seem to have a very entertaining weekend. <laughs> this thing is not blinking anymore. He fixed it, I guess. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where he's going? This building looks huge. Yeah, it's like a castle mm -hmm. on the island somewhere. He sees what happened, the explosion. Now he's gonna watch the entire thing from the beginning that we saw. Yeah, it's almost like it's like a meta version, like he's also viewing the show just in his specific way. Like Giant is another watcher like us. He's also doing reactions? Probably. Let's see if his reactions are better than ours. Oh yeah, definitely better. We don't levitate. Damn. I know, probably she's watching. She's like us, she's watching the show. And the giant is David Lynch. Checkmate David Lynch. I figured everything out. <laughs> You're good. Yes, this castle is the streaming service. Explosion is hype over season 3 be revealed. Black creatures are ignorant watchers who don't understand anything. Mr. C cannot die because as long as Twin Peaks is airing, characters don't die. Oh, so fucking deep. And David Lynch has given his ideas to us. Ooh. Maybe that explosion is symbol of dying cinematography so he is bringing some light to us in these dark times hmm. yellow bubble Dougie is a manufactured human he's a yellow bubble as well yellow bubble is a Twin Peaks character new character created by David Lynch and whereas viewers we're approaching it like thank you David Lynch for bringing us new character but we don't know what to do with it we have mixed emotions towards it Oh, Laura Palmer. Yep, he's bringing us Laura Palmer and we're gonna consume it. Oh yeah, and she's the old watcher, so for her it's something precious, something from old times. You know, somehow your explanation makes sense. Yeah. I've seen those orange bubbles in Evangelion. <laughs> True. David Lynch is a big Evangelion fan. So now that bubble with the old memories going to some production to Earth. Yeah. From David Lynch's mind to us, to mere humans. Just a tiny drop of it. Bright idea going to America. Maybe is that how people getting born? You think it's more about like human creation rather than show creation? Yeah, we're still there. Okay, we're not there anymore. Time is going. 11 years later. What happened in 1956? 
Mm, no idea. Okay, something going outside of the egg. That's the egg. Probably that's that yellow bubble that was sent to Earth. Alien frog. Yeah, this looks like frog. More like insect. Alien frog insect. Either way, 11 years later, something came out. Probably we need to know what happened in the world in 1956. <laughs> Maybe some scientific discovery important to the world happened in 1956. Found a penny and it's heads up. That means it's good luck. I hope it does bring you good luck. Just randomly stopping cars. Whatever was in the desert. No, it looks like it's a black creature. Yeah. So there were around since fifties. Look like a homeless person. Looks like Abraham Lincoln. Light. Light. Yeah, that looks like Light. characters from Resident Evil. It's like they're so afraid of it. Probably my version about black creatures being ignorant viewers is wrong. Okay, back to the couple. Are they gonna meet black creatures as well? Probably. Do you mind if I give you a kiss? <laughs> I'll see you. Yeah. But probably they will never see each other again. Okay, yeah, seems like a radio station. The guy is working. Another guy working in a car. It's like they're showing like everybody having their own routine in 50s. Yeah. Minding their own business. And then something in 1956 changed it all. Which are those black creatures about? What they brought to the world? Give that man a light already. <laughs> really? He's gonna kill her, right? Yep. <laughs> wow. Wild way. Well, if the homeless person asking you for a light, you better give it. Got a light. Mom. Just killing everyone off? Be the same. This is the water. And this is the well. Drink full and this end. The horse is the white of the eyes and dark within. This is the water. And this is the well. The horse is the white as the eyes. Yeah. This is the water and this is the wheel. The horse is we white. We saw a white as... horse before. So yeah, they had a normal order of life, but then in 1956 something changed it. Probably, yeah, without context of... 1956 years knowledge, we will not know. Maybe David Lynch was born in that year. Hmm. Okay, she's sleeping with this now. She was confused in the beginning, but now she's okay with it. Ew. It's going but in. Maybe it's something about propaganda. Like, um, propaganda just started off in 50s about Cold War and stuff in the massive way in the US. And people just consumed it. They were listening to music, life was nice, but now they have to eat this. Interesting theory about propaganda. I thought about this, but at the same time I thought that propaganda started way before that. Yeah, it was, it was always. Eventually he still didn't find the light. Poor guy. But why he looks like Abraham Lincoln? Okay, uh, great episode, very insightful very informative yes now we know that mr c is immortal yeah now we know that this is the water and this is the wheel why a horse as white as something ice uh, ice we know that david lynch seems himself as the giant <laughs> No. And he's given us his bright ideas in these dark times of television being down. And he's given us this Laura Palmer picture and we're like, yeah, Laura Palmer, yeah. But then somehow that yellow bubble becomes an egg with a weird creature coming out of it, which probably symbolizes that old times are over. Now you don't get bright ideas. 
eventually even bright ideas just becoming some ugly insect frogs that we just consume as propaganda. Oh, you went too deep, I think. Call 911 if I will go too deep on it. And after recording, <laughs> I will just keep saying this. But still. I have only one question. What, what question? Do you have some light? Do you have some light? Do you have some light? That's all, all questions I have. Well, eventually they didn't get a light. Obviously those black creatures are evil, but evil wasn't created in 1956, either in 1945. Actually, let me Google it right now, while we're still here. Let's see what happened in 1956. Okay, nine great things that the year 1956 gave us. Certs, some pills. Don't think it's about it. Candies. Don't think it's about candies. Elvis Presley. Ooh. <laughs> Pretty no, dangerous it's, stuff. It's not about Elvis. Uh, Robbie the Robot. The shopping mall. That's an evil. That's it. No, there is nothing important in 1956. At least not from the first link that we just checked. Why are we even looking for a sense? Maybe David Lynch is... Just consume it. Just... I got the ugly frog for you, you just eat it and think what it is about. I'm pretty sure there is some deep meaning for it, but yeah, right now, uh, nothing coming to my mind. Same. I will think about it, though. Well, guys, maybe you can share in comments what it is about. Thank you for watching this episode with us. Like this video if you like it. Subscribe to our channel if you would like to see our future reactions. Thank you for watching again. See you next one. See you.